Are you tired of this happening while taming a snow owl? My name's Techorsa and today I'll show you how to tame a snow owl and if you stick around I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tamed snow owls. First off, let's prepare. The foods you're going to need in order from most effective to least effective. Superior kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat, cooked lamb chop, cooked prime meat. I'd recommend using kibble or raw prime meat. It wouldn't hurt to have some cooked prime meat just in case. Unless something catastrophic happens, you won't need narcotics during this tame because the toe pour shouldn't run out regardless of the food you use. At a default taming rate, a level 30 can take between 6 and 20 minutes, a level 60 can take between 10 and 30 minutes, a level 120 can take between 15 and 45 minutes, a level 150 can take between 20 and 60 minutes. These times are the difference between kibble and raw meat. Raw meat is not a bad option for this tame if you don't mind bonus level loss and waiting a bit longer. The recipe for superior kibble is 1 large egg, 2 citronelle, 2 rare mushrooms, 1 prime meat jerky, 1 sap, 5 fiber, and 1 water. Snow owls spawn in groups of 2 to 3, however they are a bit aggressive and will attack a lot of the creatures in the area they spawn in which means it's likely that you'll find snow owls circling a group of angry creatures. This often leads to situations where they rapidly die or are heavily injured. In terms of taming, the snow owl is very similar to the Argentavis, both being kinda big and having a very wide turning radius. This means it's easy to get them to fly in a circle while they're trying to attack you. However, there's still the issue of the snow owl flying away after their torpor gets high, and if you're not quick enough to knock them out at this point, you'll lose the tame. There are several mostly enclosed runes around the northeast section of the snow area of the extinction map that you could take advantage of, particularly the rune at 14 lat 83 long, However, this isn't as reliable as using a fully enclosed trap. There are a couple of things to keep in mind while building a trap. Snow owls can fit through spaces that are slightly smaller than one foundation width. They're also fairly quick. This makes standard birdcage traps not very effective against the snow owl if it isn't set up correctly, and the snow owl can often fly through the gates faster than they can close. Instead, we'll build a trap that's designed for snow owls. The materials you'll need for this trap are one stone pillar, two stone triangle ceilings, four stone door frames, one double stone door frame, one reinforced double door, and two stone railings. Place the pillar, then a triangle ceiling on top of it. On one side, place the double door frame and double door. On the other two sides, stack two door frames on top of each other. Place a ceiling on the top. On the side with the double door frame, place a railing on top of the upper ceiling and place a second railing underneath it. This trap takes advantage of the fact that the flyer AI tends to fly upward while it's trying to get away. This means you'll have enough time to walk around and shut the doors after you lure the snow out into the trap. Whichever way you decide to use, pelt the snow owl with shrink ammo until it's unconscious. Put your food of choice and narcotics in its inventory and maintain its topor so it doesn't wake up until it's tame. If this video is helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. 
The Snow Owl Saddle can be learned at level 61 and can be crafted in the smithy with chitin, fiber, and hide. Their primary attack is a Talon Swipe or a Peck. Their secondary attack is a Freeze Debuff that causes every creature within about 2 foundation radius to be immobilized and start recovering their health. Any creature that enters this radius after the debuff is applied will not be immobilized and will not be healed. This can be extremely useful when taming a creature with bad health to total ratio or resetting a creature that was hit while it was unconscious. Their crouch command is an ability called Predator Vision, which is a pseudo heat vision which changes the landscape color to gray and black and changes creatures to white, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue and the color seems to change based on the distance from the Snow Owl, white being very close, blue being very far away. The Snow Owl can also dive bomb similar to a griffin. While flying downward, hold the sprint button to activate the dive. Snow Owls do not provide animal feces like other creatures. Instead, they have a drop known as Snow Owl Pellets, which can be used as an almost direct substitution for fertilizer, providing slightly less nitrogen units than fertilizer. Snow Owl Pellets can also be used as a fairly effective taming item for Gotcha. You can make superior kibble with snow owl eggs along with two citronelle, two rare mushrooms, one prime meat jerky, one sap, five fiber, and one water. There's a ghost form of the snow owl that first appeared in the Fear Evolved 4 event, which drops the ghost owl costume on death. That's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.